being more present. And that is something we can learn. And I really believe that their children are the greatest teacher because children already are this naturally. They are fully present. And they're extremely secure within themselves. Well, maybe not secure, but they're sure. They, they know who they are. And they speak their mind. They're very, extremely honest. And it's interesting, considering this, how we evolve, how we become in this world, how we change. That's what I'm trying to draw attention to here with these videos, the process of change we all go through. Changes all of us. We all go through change. We all do change since we came into this world. But then also we stop changing. As we get used to the routine of life and, the, and, and, and yeah, the rules and regulations and expectations of the world we grow up in. Basically just a matter of going to school and pleasing our teacher, you know, having good marks, pleasing our parents, doing what we are supposed to do, doing what we're told, not really asking too many questions. Which I always thought that it's, it's because children naturally also coming back to that always children they, they are have a ton of questions. And many times grown ups are overwhelmed because our focus in our society is not to really give children answers to their questions, but really gets them to be obedient to something that I always question. Really what happens there with our, to our humanity if we just train children to be obedient? What happens to our, our, our nature, to the nature of children? We all have one of those in nature. We all have gone through changes. But we all are connected to each other because we're all part of nature. We're all part of each other. But we have just evolved very differently in our belief system, in our views, in our how we perceive something, our values. It's very different from person to person. And many times these things keep us from really being connected to others. But these are only superficial differences. We are not machines. That is probably the main point I'm making with Realize to Actualize. That's why this tree you see in many places that looks like a dancer. It points to that. The awareness that we are not machines. And then the saying goes that we are more like a tree and we need to develop and grow naturally according to the inward forces which make us a living thing, which make us a human being. So what are these forces and how can we direct them? This is something we never learn. As the focus again in our society becomes the external, becomes the production and consumption. And the effect this has on our nature. It's very grave, very harsh, very violent, so to speak. And so it doesn't really surprise me that we have this great amount of violence in this world. And not only countries fighting each other, but people fighting each other. People who once were lovers starting to hate each other. I always thought this is a, a curious phenomenon. Because this is just then conditional love. Because this is, of course, that's how we, how we grew up in this world. That's what we learn about love. That love is conditional. There are conditions. We need to be a certain way in order to be loved. Of course, that's very different when we're small children. And of course, it's different from the, the love we receive from our father. The, the, and the love we receive from our mother. It's very different. 
very, very different. But ultimately, it is about love, and love is the way. We know that. And that's why I love this this area here so much. The movement of where the where the movement of power power really started. That is really some great stuff. But more than just a feeling, it is really a way. It is a power. That is not the power over people or to control people or change people, but the power over others. Now it's the idea of God, the power lies within. God lies within. Become, about becoming empowered. Like there you feel, you are connected to your inner joy, your beauty, your creativity, your infinite potential. Which we don't even scratch the surface off because again in this world it is all about being a certain way for others. So we fit the mold. And there's something for everybody in this market. But again, who we are beyond that is something that I just want to maybe inspire you a little bit to think about that and think about who you are and what it is you want to change for yourself. Hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, what's up? What's See, it's there? all about love, right? Love you, man. <laughs> there you go. See, it's so easy. It's instant karma. Those remind me, instant karma. You just dog the nature of the beast. Hey, buddy. How are you? How are you doing? See, your uh, affection, it's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. Okay. <laughs> This is something we all can practice wherever we are. And not just around people who are lovable and close to us. Which is easy. But around people who are difficult for us to deal with. People who might be negative. People we don't like. Because yeah, remember, love is the way. That's what I would like to do here, is to lead the way in that spirit of unconditional love. Thank you for watching, and I do love you. <laughs>